Om Shanti. You Brahmins are Babdada's loveliest creation and you are moving forward by constantly keeping in your awareness the aim of being close and becoming equal. Babdada was seeing the speed of both fast effort makers who come in the first division and effort makers who come in the second division. There is a difference between their aim and their qualification. The two main reasons are, firstly, the most elevated power of thought is not constantly used accurately for the self and service. Secondly, the power of speech is not used accurately and powerfully. You become slack. Babdada saw a greater percentage of waste in 50% of Brahmins. Speech has an effect on the mind also. The mind pulls speech to itself. Babdada had given the direction, speak less, speak softly, speak sweetly. Those who speak wasteful things speak a lot. They might control themselves in the gathering, but they would feel forced to keep quiet. Those with this habit make small things big and create stories. Everyone is entertained by the story of the Ramayana or the Mahabharat, but there is no essence. Because of the influence of Maya, those who speak a lot are weak souls and are easily made into companions by others for listening and speaking to. They cannot become ones who love solitude. This is why they are clever at making companions and their gatherings look powerful and big. But remember that these are the last steps before Maya's departure. Even as she departs, she will adopt a very sweet form and keep on trying with Brahmins. Babdada saw different forms of wasteful and ordinary words, jokes and laughter beyond the limit, taunting someone, listening and speaking of news, speaking of the weaknesses of serviceable ones and speaking words that are not in the Brahmin dictionary. This is mixed chutney. Laughter and joking in a spiritual way is good when it is appropriate to the person, the time, the gathering and the atmosphere and when others take benefit. This is known as Mariada Parshutam, following the highest code of conduct. Let your words always be invaluable and elevated such that others would want to hear more. Elevated versions are never many. This is why you should speak words that are necessary and yukti yukt according to the time and place, bringing benefit to the self and others. You pay less attention to words and this is why Bhaktada is doubly under underlining this. When you check this, you will experience the sweetness of introversion and feel you are the embodiment of tapasya sitting in the cottage of the forehead. Om Shanti